is have you ever rejected friend zoned a guy and then regretted it later? If so, why? Not a bad question, actually. Have you ever friend zoned a guy or rejected him and then regretted it later? No. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. okay. No. Oh, Captain, man. You could think of one guy that you're like, damn, you would have been a good boyfriend. Um, I friend zoned a guy who was like, I was like, oh, sorry. I like friend zoned a guy that I was like friends with. And I don't regret like friend zoning him. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like you're losing like a good friend. Like when you do it. <laughs> but like obviously he didn't see it that way. But like. So not sexual, just like platonic, just friends. Yeah, like in that way. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm confused. So you friend zoned him? Yeah. And then he stopped fucking with you? Yeah, he just stopped talking to me. Okay, wait, so were you, so you guys had something intimate before? No, like we were just like friends. And then like he told me he liked me and then I was just like, like I liked him as a friend. Okay, so you talking. weren't friends, you wanted more. Yeah, but I did. But you made it friends. How long had you guys known each other until you guys had that conversation? Um, I think like three years, but like, okay. I always saw it like in a friend way. Okay, so no. he, he finally came out three years later. Yeah. And then once you told him, I don't see you that way, he stopped talking to you. Yeah. Do you basically. think he made a mistake by doing that? He did or me? Him. Um, no, because he was protecting his own feelings. So like, I guess like. I think he was protecting his own time. Yeah, basically. Isn't that crazy? Three years, bro. Yeah. Waiting for a chance. That's why you should never, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys are stupid with, with themselves in a friend zone. Would you ever let a girl, uh, like a guy friend zone you? Um. Well, actually, you know what? Let me make know. it better. Let's say you, you, you had a guy, right? And he only called you for sex at 2 a.m. Never took you out. Never wanted to be out in public with you, etc. Would you keep talking with him? No, I would not talk to him. That's exactly how men feel in the friend zone. <laughs> but like, see, that just hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, but like, that's the same exact concept. Like that, see, see how you immediately said, fuck no, I'm not stupid. Yeah, fuck like, yeah. again. But guys are dumb enough to give away free attention. Girls are not yeah. dumb enough to give away free sex. Girls always get something in return, typically. Or want something in return. Yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she doesn't Fair care enough. at all. Yeah, she doesn't care at all. You do not give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that, see, that right there yeah. proves why. Remember how I said women lack empathy? Yeah. Yeah, no. Right, no you guys I, just saw it's an empathy for it. No, you have sympathy. Not empathy. Like, not empathy. Okay. Yeah. Aww, okay, whatever. Faggot. Poor yeah. guy. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. Yeah, bitch. I okay. still get my crown. Uh, what about you? Um. Have you ever regretted friend zoning a guy or rejecting one? Uh, kind of. I, I don't know. I mean, I had like um, a friend group in high school where I was like dating one guy and then uh, there was like two other guys that I, I was like really close friends with and I didn't know that the, the guy, the one guy like had feelings for me, but uh, he was really close with the guy that I was dating, and then we ended up breaking up, and, you know, he gave me the whole I love you speech thing, and I was, like, a little taken back by it or whatever, and he was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just felt bad, because, like, we were really close friends, um, so ultimately, like, I wish that, like, we could have just stayed friends, but... <laughs> Um, so same thing as her almost. Kinda. He I confessed guess. his love for it you, was, and you, and he left after. Well, um, yeah, it was just kind of like I didn't want to break the friendship thing, and then I don't know. We were really young too, so it was like complicated. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing anyway, and not if, that like if you now. Saw him right, I, now would you give it a chance? No, no, no. But I, yeah, I mean, I wish that we could have that friendship back, you know. Friendship, but yeah, yeah the yeah, question is regret it. It was a lot. I regret Thank it because I ruined our friendship. That's what I mean. It wasn't yeah. a friendship. Bro. It wasn't a friendship. Bro, on, his smash. Yeah, on his part, bro. it wasn't. But I didn't know that for a couple of years. And so it's funny I'm... that like girls, you like to live in a delusion. Yep. You like to live in that lie. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't I mean, a friendship. Yep. I guess. I mean, I guess it, it doesn't even matter that it was on my part. It was. I guess the goal. I don't think That's the point. Like you're you're okay living a lie. No, I mean, I wouldn't want him to, like, I know, like, because I've been in that situation where, like, I f had feelings for somebody and they didn't like me and, like, oh. I, like you don't want to, like, live in that cycle of, like, I don't know, it's painful. Like, when you, like, you have a crush on somebody and they don't like you, you don't want to live in that. So mm -hmm. I get it, but, like. I have a question. Vitaly, what is it like, um, you've been in the content game for a long time. Do you think it's possible to date another content creator? Um, it depends. On, on what? On what? That's a good question. Because it's very complicated. Like, it, most of it's all publicized. You know, you have, like, people are invested in your relationship. You hear points of view and comments all the time. 
Do you think it's possible to have a, a relationship where it's that public? Does it work at all? Or could you only date a girl that's completely private and barely like just a private Instagram? I would, I would like private. Yeah, I would like private, but like my ex, like she, she streaked the game for me, remember? She did, yeah. Yeah, she yeah, got yeah, 400 yeah. followers on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And then the TikTok came out saying like, there was only one star in the show and that was me. You totally got jealous. And but, she got mad. Yeah. So. Damn. Did that change after she went viral? I don't know. That's when the spiral went down. Oh, okay. So, was that the blonde girl? Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I would prefer a girlfriend that, that, that has no Instagram. Same. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey. Yeah. You understand? A hundred percent, bro. Same way. Yeah. I don't think girls like get it. Like, bro, like Perfect. we don't give a fuck about a woman having clout, bro. Like, clout. Uh, like I, I've, I, controversial take. I don't think guys should date streamers. OF girls, no offense. Content creators, any of that shit. Like any type of profession where the girl has to put herself out there to network or build herself up is not in your benefit as a man at all. Because it puts her in compromising situations for and about, it compromises the relationship. Sorry, what but, about guys that do OnlyFans and do all of that? What about us for the girls? Like men acquiring status is not the same as women acquiring status. Misogyny. Mm, what do you mean by that? Okay. I'll give you a perfect example. You were with a brokey rapper, weren't you? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Shots fired. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Oh. So, so oh, shit. women oh, respond shit. favorably to status. We don't need status to be with a girl. Mm. This girl's a hostess. Nobody, no offense. But her and Sneeko had talked, right? Like, men don't give a shit about a woman's status at all. And I'm using examples at the table just to really draw it home that a woman with status only hurts you as a man. But a man with status only propels you as a woman. I feel like that would be like more for like an insecure man. Really? Uh, you know? Insecure. Here we go. Uh, I mean, you're 31 and so <laughs> Okay, single, man, so, so let me ask you this. What? Who's more insecure? The man that tells you the truth and says what it is or the man that's scared to tell you the truth because you'll leave? Who's more secure? No, I mean, I feel like if the man knows that he has his girl, like then that's you know what i mean like content creation is not really like real like most of it is like you know most like mostly like only fans is it's all fake it's just a show you know it's like modeling so if he understands that that's like a fake world it's like a little you didn't answer the question who's more secure the person who's honest to tell his woman what it really is or the man that's scared of her response <sighs> You got this. No. Come on, Carl. She knows the answer. She doesn't <laughs> yeah. want to answer it. Yeah, she's throwing it. I don't, know. Put her in a precarious situation. I don't, I don't think she uh, understands so the question. Can I see, let me ask you, do you think it's insecure if I'm dating you and I told you to cover up your titties? Mm -hmm. Does that make me insecure? Titties. Yeah. I'm insecure? Well, it makes you controlling. Oh, shit. Because okay. now you want to control the situation and how I look and what, you know. Right. Is that rooted in insecurity? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's like wherever you come from. You know, like your perspective of the, the well, world. Well, let's say I don't feel good about it and I don't tell you anything at all. I just hold it inside. Is that insecurity? I mean, I feel like there's confident men that know that, like, if a woman is making her money online, like, that's, you know, like, there's two kind of men. There's, like, a man that's okay with a woman making more than him. And then there's one that's, like, insecure about it. But I'm hiding my emotions to make you feel better for just telling you the truth. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you don't like it, then, yeah, that's, that's fine. You know, you should say something, but... Yeah. Okay, in a relationship, who do you think is supposed to lead, the man or the woman? I think both. <laughs> How does that work? But, but more the guy, I feel like the men is like more to lead like the way, like we want a masculine energy. Okay. Like I hate men would, that are would like, it be fair to say that? Boy okay, so like you that. want a male with masculine energy. Would you yeah. agree that a masculine man protects his woman? Well, yeah, I hope so. Okay. If not, would then... Would it be fair to say that it's his job to protect the woman? Yeah, I mean, I feel okay. like my ex actually was um, a little bit more on the feminine side. Okay, so what <laughs> so a part I was of, the one that was what, taking what care of. Part, what, wouldn't, it, wouldn't a part of protecting a woman be protecting herself sometimes? Protecting her from herself? Wait, can you say that again? Okay, wouldn't a part of a man protecting a woman be protecting her from herself at times? I mean, yeah, that's true. Wouldn't it be fair to say that women have natural proclivities that hurt the relationship at times and you have to protect that innocence? I mean, yes. I feel like as a partner, like you want the other person to grow, so you have to be honest. But right. like, you know, yeah. There's a saying: a woman without instruction is headed for destruction. Um, and I think a bunch of different religions and societies have always put men in the leadership role because women inherently do stupid shit when they don't have male leadership. Um, and I think a man telling a girl, "Hey, don't dress provocatively, etc.," just protects her from certain elements. When you dress a certain way or you put yourself out in a certain light people don't respect you. 
Well, I feel like like nowadays. You feel like, what women, you think. Okay, I think that nowadays, like women are educated more, and like we know what's up. Like, so we can actually provide for ourselves, and like we can do. We know more. Like back in the days, it's like women didn't know. So anything. if you know more, and you know so, that men are gonna objectify you when you dress a certain way, why would you still do it? But if I'm with my men. We're talking like though. if I was with my man, no. But if he's telling you, hey, I don't like you being dressed that way, I mean, should you defer to his authority? He should be proud. He should be like, oh, yeah. I mean, he if you don't want to date if you don't want to date a hot girl, then don't date her, I feel like, you know? like. You know, What's maybe a hot he, girl? Like, a girl that's, like, sexy and, like, feels good in her body and, like, is able to, like, wear whatever she feels confident in. You know? Like, why should we be covered completely? For well, her? that's being confident. You can covered. be hot in a sweater. Yeah. Right, like you're but defining. It's, it's like, Miami. It's hot, so we're gonna. You there know. was a girl here on our last show. She wore a jacket, right, like a cover-up jacket, trench coat, mm -hmm. nice curly hair, cute, and she was still hot, but she covered herself. Right. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying in general, she was still hot, being covered. Yeah, hot girl doesn't mean you need to have your tits out. But I mean, everyone, like everyone, has like a pers uh, perspective of what, like, what uh, hot let me ask is. You this. Like for me, I'm Latina, so I I like tight stuff. And, Spicy. Like, so let me let me get this straight real fast. Do you want a guy that makes more money than you? Is well, more successful course. than yourself. Absolutely. So, like, if I you, get pregnant, I want him to like cool. make sure that you know. So he got let me it. let me get this straight. So you want a guy to be the man, be the leader, protect and provide for you, but you want to also be able to tell him, no, I'm going to dress the way that I want. Well, yeah, he should be. Tell me how that makes sense. It's 2024. So, hold on, hold on. no, 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 no. no. So I feel so like so he has the responsibility of <laughs> taking America, care of you. So I think that you hold know. On. I need you to think instead of talking. Okay. Really think about this. You want a man to protect and provide for you, and be responsible for you. But he has no authority over you. How does that sound? Mm, there shouldn't be any authority. That's what a leader does, though. If he's responsible for protecting you, that means he should have some authority over you, too. I mean, if he feels uncomfortable, like, I don't think I would go to, like, a family event with, like, my tits out. Like, that's not, you know what I mean? Like, there's a right time for everything. Because it like, sounds like you want a traditional man. Yeah. Well, but you don't want to be, hold on, but you don't want to be a traditional woman. I want to mix a traditional <laughs> man that is like not extremely like to the extremes. Like I don't want an extreme. No, no, no. You want to you want to pick and choose when you could be a lady, but he's got to be a man all the time. See how it doesn't make sense? No. That's not real. Like, th and this is what I'm trying to say. Like, so many modern girls have this mindset that you have. I want a guy that's going to provide for me, be the breadwinner. I can stay at home and chill. I want him to be dominant and assertive. But then you want to be able to tell him, "I'm going to dress how I want, nigga." That's not how this fucking works. Like, if I'm going to be a traditional man and protect and provide for you. Listen to what I say. If I tell you you're not wearing that, you're not fucking wearing it. I mean, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, like, I'll be considerate and, like, put something Considerate. Else, but... No, how about yeah, this? I consider I kicking you to the curb to. and getting a girl that's going to listen to me. But that's what I'm trying to say with girls that you want me to be the man, and then I tell you be a lady, and you're like, nah. Mm. Tell me that's a fair trade. Is that a fair trade for the man? He's got to bust his ass, become successful, take care of you, but then you I have mean, the ability to tell him no? If he's providing for everything, and I'm like treat her like a queen and I have nothing to worry about only and, then will you consider then maybe I'll be like damn okay like still daddy maybe. like what's up still maybe <laughs> you know like that's crazy I mean I would like to you know freedom of, of expression like bro, I want to feel free I've in my seen body your IG yeah. bro your body's all over the internet man. this is girl power <laughs> bro like well, no, I'm a bikini bro, model like, so bro. my background is bikini model okay, so I, wait a second wait a I second love... freedom of expression is not being naked on Instagram freedom of expression is bro. I'm Art. naked on Instagram. Yo, I mean, I'm in a bikini. You must well be I naked. can't wear a, in a bikini just because I have a, a specific That's body. That's not what expression and is. And it's considered... You know what? Pull up, man. No, it's not. <laughs> Or do you get a free oh, hey, 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 fuck it, man. Let's go, man. Chris has a loaded. Scroll down, man. Yo. Yo. That's expression? Bro, come on, man. What? That's it's a very... Bro. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> what do you what what are you expressing there? She expressed like twerking classes. Okay. What, what, what are you dancing. expressing? Are you expressing like sadness? No. Nostalgia. To me, that's like good vibes, baby. Come on, baby. Like, oh, oh, Halloween. Wait, wait, wait. Halloween. 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 Wait, wait. Yo, yo, come on, man. Oh, yo, no. deja vu, bro. What? Lexi. Oh yeah. Pen. Bro. Oh, wow. Oh, Bruh. Fresh. Right, right, Whose right, right, man's right. is this? All right, scroll down, bro. Fresh, why? I mean, <laughs> what? Right, those chat, are very, bro. my my content is very tasteful, so bro. it's not it's very tasteful? artsy. But tell me what you yeah. think, bro. I want to go home and jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, whenever I meet a guy, I never give him like my Instagram or anything. I, Why I not? Hate, because Why I want not? them to get to know me first. Oh, yeah. And then maybe I'll, you know, once That's I feel... That's kind of smart. 
I'm serious. Like that's, see, that's, that's uh, I don't want to be put in a bubble, you know. But see, it's this, <laughs> yo, this is crazy. It's crazy. But she wants a traditional man, yeah. But she's not a traditional girl. At all. I don't know. Hell no. Girl. I am. You don't want to be put in a bubble. Ways, yeah. You made that bubble. <laughs> see, you know, because they're gonna judge you from this alone, how you are. But deep down, you might be different, right? Well, Liz, yeah, I'm very, like, down-to-earth and Liz, very free spirit. Liz, so. so this shows the opposite of that, so I'm going to think, okay, one thing in my head. Liz, yeah. dumb titties, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. hey, I love them. <clears throat> Everyone loves them, you know? I mean, oh, hold on. Let's, 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 let's be real for a second. Let's be real. Do you want to have kids? I would like to one day, but is it my hey. main thing? No, like, I don't want to force anything that's, like, not meant what to be. What are you going to so. subtract having a family for? What do you mean? What would you give up? Because you're, you're saying that that's not that important. Well, I don't... I'm What's not the alternative? Just, um, not, of not having kids? Yeah, what are you going to do when you're 50? Um, live my best fucking life. You're 50, like, you're you know? living your best yeah, life. What, what is that? Uh, I mean, I don't have to have kids. Like, I think, if anything, I'll just, like, adopt and, you know... Adopt and cats? No, like, actual kids. Like an African know? kid? I would love to, Yeah, I would love to. Maybe a Cuban kid. I'm do you know the way? So, do you know the way? you know the way? Yeah, please. Yeah, I would like to be successful, if anything. If someone comes along, that would be great. But if not, then I'll just be successful and, like, get a baby myself. Like, I don't, you know, nowadays it's <laughs> like... You No. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just... I don't really... We don't really need a man anymore. So it's kind of like, yes, it would be sperm nice. Donor? Wait, wait, a so... A sperm donor? I mean, I don't think oh, I need that. But you see, that is the problem, right? <laughs> Especially <laughs> which. Will you be her sperm donor? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I don't like... What you, know. the, 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 you see how you're perpetuating a cycle, right? Huh? You're going to raise... A, if you do raise a kid, it's, it's going to have just a single mom. I mean, if I really want a kid, but if I, if it's not meant for me to be a mom, then it's not meant for me. Like... I don't want like whatever. She's thirty one, man. She's the eggs are coming out. That's crazy. There's one le egg left in that carton. What? Why? You don't want a kid? <laughs> I do. It's just you know. I mean, you I just was gonna take care of the kid. No, I was gonna get married. Like I mean, I was engaged. I was ready. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. So, I was ready for like the whole thing, but it didn't work out, and I'm not gonna why? Why? force myself because you know that's. Do you push you down the stairs? No, he was very toxic. Oh, he was a little—he was an artist. Wait, wait, so, wait. So, you know, wait. So, why was it toxic, though? Ah, uh, there's a lot to it, but no, no. Basically, very abusive. Like, yeah. Like, bad. yo, real quick, who here wants kids? Raise your hand. Are you all white material? You would say all of you. Perfect. Yeah. We can play a game. Oh, all the girls think they're white material. In the chat. Yeah, that's what they said. Wait. All right, first we're gonna pull up her calculator because I want to see what the chances are here. All right, we're gonna put your dream man in here, okay? Um, and we want to see the chance of you finding your guy. All right, so what's the minimum age that he's got to be? Let's run through this. You. What? Yes, this is you. We're going through you. We're going to put your dream guy in here. Oh, what's yep. the minimum yeah. age of a guy yeah, for you, that yeah. I would date? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, I would say 26. Your dream guy. Okay, and then to oldest. The oldest would be 50. Okay. Okay. Um, like minimum now. height. Six foot. Has to be like five, yeah, uh, like five thousand. eleven. This is your guy? Okay, five, five eleven. eleven. Then you settle with six. Okay, race. Black. I don't really have a race, really. Just any. Any? Yeah, if we've been. You date an Indian guy? Yeah. A Durga Durga? Whoever. I mean, as long as, as long as we have a connection. <laughs> Korean yeah. race. I don't All care. Right, we'll, put, we'll give it I to her. I love Indian food. All right. Um, okay, highest education level? Definitely has to have some sort of college, or okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But what a bachelor's degree then? It would have, yeah, it it would be nice. Okay. Like it's Minimum income per year, max. At or, least yeah. like seventy or seventy-five. I mean, that's like a decent, you know. Bare minimum seventy k. Seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five okay. is decent. And then, uh, can he be married? No. Can he be obese? No. Sorry, okay. Mom. I work out all the time, so. Okay. Yeah. Let's Thank go you. ahead. And this comes from the NCBS uh, National uh, Health Survey, and then also from the uh, CDC. Oh, okay. So, okay. And all you, right. You Only about 0.46% wow. uh, of men meet your requirements. Congrats. So, uh, and this is not even accounting for him being good looking, <laughs> attractive, like charismatic, charming, etc. So, the guy that you're looking for is extremely rare. I mean, I will um, say, though, my like last option is to go to Cuba and just get married with a man there and use them to have a baby. Okay. Are, are you seriously going to I'm dead serious. Date a guy from Cuba and take him seriously? Men do that all the time with but women. But women don't do that. Yeah. You're a women girl. don't women oh, don't date down socioeconomically.
Women I don't mean, go to third world countries money, to get if, third world. If dick. I have money, if I'm rich and I'm I can have kids and I can't find anyone here, why not go to Cuba so and rice change and someone's beans life and you know just and steak. Would you honestly want to be with a man that you have to support rationed? Uh, if it comes down to it, fuck it, why not? So <laughs> I don't think you would do that. I, I, I think you would seriously I would seriously not like to, but, but like, yeah. How about you stay in America? We can catch some dogs. I'm trying. I'm saying the last. Like, I'm doing, like, maybe, here. like, 37. Bro, Liz, come on, 38. I'll be like, Liz, Liz, come on, Okay. Uh, I think you need to lower your standards is what I think. I think you need to uh, maybe lower the height and the income a bit and then just kind of <laughs> get take what you can get. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh...